Okay, so now that we have the schema ready, the next step will be to figure out how to work with the controller. And um, I have, uh, I've added on the controller here uh, a bit more logic than is required. And I know that some of this can actually be pulled into a different file. But I kind of just wanted to make sure that if I send something to the backend, then it validates that, that I, what I've sent to the backend is actually okay in the different areas that I've sent. So for instance, if I get a query string with the name search in there, and what's the query? Let me just start off by showing this to you. Uh, I've opened my postman here, and um, I'm just going to try and show you what this is all about. The query string is actually everything after the question mark. And most of you already know this. Sorry, it's not to be a smart ass. I just want to tell people if they're not used to this. Everything after the question mark is actually a list of properties. And this first one is actually a named one named limit and the value is 500. And that means a new property is coming now. The next one is page two and sort by title and search 10. So this is kind of a way for us to actually pass some information to the backend. This could have been a hashed set so nobody could read it like Google is doing. We could make that later. I don't want to waste my time there. So this is actually what we're sending to the backend. And remember each of these guys right here, like limit, page, sort, search, they're all something that I'm adding to uh, the query string. Express is taking care of that for me. So I can do request that query and then dot anything that I've added in that question mark line there. So I've added a search, a limit, a page, and also a, a sort by, okay? And what I'm doing here is I'm pretty much just validating all of these fields to make sure that if there's something, set them. If not, make sure they're set to at least some value, right? So the first one is I'm saying if there is a search query and it's above zero, then please search in the title. And I'm using a regex here just to make sure that I don't care if it's in the beginning, in the middle of the title. I'm just saying I want to search everywhere. You can read about reg regular expressions or I can show it in a later video. This video will be too long if I start talking about that. The next step I'm doing is I'm just making sure there's a limit and there's a page set up. And then I'm trying to figure out the offset. The offset is how many I should skip. So it's like saying, don't start at zero, start at the number 25 and move from there. But if the offset is bigger than the actual count of results I get back. So I just used a query here to say, give me back all the syllabuses with this title. And if that's only 20, then I cannot move. Then I, I should not start from 40, right? Because then I wouldn't get any results back. I hope that makes sense. So that's why I'm saying, if you figure out that the count is actually bigger than the offset, then it means that you have to go back to position zero and just take the amount that we want. I might have turned that around. We'll figure that out in a second. That's my goal of it. The next step is the options. And that's actually just an object that I'm going to pass to the pagination uh, setup down here. So I'm just setting what should be selected that's how we've done it before. I'm just saying I only want the title, the lecturer, the year, and the owner of the syllabus. I don't want all the information in the syllabus. I'm also explaining to him that I want to sort by um, the query sort by. And in this case, I sent the query sort by as minus title, meaning reverse sort in title. It could be anything, any property I have. It could also be lecturer, year, or owner. It doesn't matter. I can use anything to sort with. But this time, it's going to be minus title. I'm going to populate owner and I'm going to take only his name and his email. That was just to show you the populate part if you want to use that in this setup. And I'm going to use the offset. That's what we just talked about. And then if I have any limit, like in this case, I'm only going to get 25. If we go back to the test here, actually I have a limit of 500. So I'm going to get 500 back, but I'm going to change this to 25 for our first test here. I'm going to say page one and um, we're going to test this now. The last thing I have to do is pretty much just say, send this to my syllabus. Boink. Send the entire query with the options using the paginate. And that was the one we built in the last setup. That was the one in the model that we set up right here using the plugin guy. So that's all it takes. Now I can use, instead of using um, find, I can just use 
paginate. And now I'll use all of these beautiful queries to only get the information back that I require. So in the next video, we'll try and use it.